When you think of the deadliest diseases in the world, the fast-acting incurable ones that grab headlines from time to time enter your mind, yet many of these types of diseases aren't even in the top 10 causes of worldwide deaths. Most deaths due to a disease result from ones that progress slowly. And according to Healthline, the deadliest disease in the world is coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease. And this occurs when the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart become narrowed. And if left untreated, it can lead to chest pain, heart failure, and arrhythmia, which is irregular heartbeat pattern. Risk factors for this include high blood pressure and cholesterol, smoking, a family history of coronary artery disease, diabetes, and being overweight. A stroke is another deadly disease, as mentioned in my previous video, which occurs when an artery in your brain is blocked or leaks. And thus there are two types, ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke. And this causes the oxygen-deprived brain cells to begin dying within minutes. During a stroke, you feel sudden numbness and confusion or have trouble walking and seeing. And if left untreated, a stroke can cause long-term disability. Thirdly, untreated lower respiratory infections often lead to death, and this includes 1. Pneumonia, which is inflammation in the air sacs in your lungs, known as alveoli, the alveoli full with fluid or pus, making it difficult to breathe. 2. Bronchitis, this is inflammation of the mucous membrane in the bronchial tubes, and 3. Tuberculosis, a disease resulting in the growth of nodules or tubercles in the tissues, especially in the lungs. Coughing is the main symptom of a lower respiratory disease as well as breathlessness, wheezing and a tight feeling in your chest. Some risk factors for this include poor air quality or frequent exposure to lung irritants, smoking, a weak immune system, asthma or HIV. Furthermore, these may also be risk factors for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is a long-term progressive lung disease that makes breathing difficult. Another deadly disease that is more common than we think is diabetes, which affects insulin production and use. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas can't produce insulin, and in type 2, the pancreas doesn't produce enough or insulin can't be used effectively. And this can be caused by a number of risk factors, such as excess body weight, high blood pressure, older age, not exercising regularly, and maintaining an unhealthy diet. Another type of disease which you may not have expected to be deadly are diarrheal diseases. This is because they lead to dehydration, which can result in death, and it is usually caused by an intestinal virus or bacteria transmitted through contaminated water or food, and thus it's particularly widespread in areas with poor sanitation. Surprisingly, diarrheal disease is one of the top causes of death in children younger than 5, and over 75 750,000 children die from diarrheal diseases each year. Lastly, cirrhosis. This is the result of chronic scarring and damage to the liver, usually due to kidney disease, hepatitis, or chronic alcoholism. A healthy liver filters harmful substances from your blood and sends healthy blood into your body. As substances damage the liver, scar tissue forms which forces the liver to work harder to function properly, and eventually the liver may stop working. I hope you learned something from this video, and be sure to return next week for details about some interesting surgical procedures.